Our moment of the match is brought to you by AdvoCare. The Texas Derby was no contest last Friday as FC Dallas dominated the Houston Dynamo at BBVA Compass Stadium in a 4-1 win, earning three points on the road. But it was this goal by Mauro Diaz in the 52nd minute that earns this week's AdvoCare moment of the match. Welcome back to FC Dallas Extra Time, brought to you by Toyota. Now, we know all about FC Dallas players and what they do here on the field. Let's dive a little bit deeper. It's time to get to know Chris Seitz and Victor Ulloa. In the locker room this week with Victor Ulloa. No, Victor Eduardo Ulloa Benavides. Yeah, Victor Eduardo Ulloa Benavides. A lot of people don't know that's your full name. They don't. No. Yeah. And I bet they have a hard time pronouncing it. Yeah, a lot of people, I mean, I just, I just smile and say, yeah, you got it. <laughs> and see, with a smile like that, he can get away with it. Okay, we are asking you everything people have always wanted to know about you but are too afraid to ask. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. What is one question you're absolutely sick and tired of getting asked? Uh, how to pronounce my last name. <laughs> <laughs> you could do, you would do a course on that. Yeah, I should, I should. Uh, I mean, the two L's is a Y, so I, I don't find it difficult, but a lot of people find it difficult to pronounce it. PK, side saves it! Easiest one first and foremost. If you weren't a soccer player, what would you be doing for a living? Ooh, I always tell my wife I'd be a stay-at-home dad <laughs> and make her work, so. What would she do then? Uh, yeah, she's, you know, she, she's big actually into producing, so whether it's TV shows or Music, she wants to get in, in, into that sort of business. The shot is on, Ochoa hit it. What one thing would people most be surprised to find out about you? Uh, my fond love for Frozen. Frozen the movie? Yes, I, I, I love that movie, I don't know why. It's my favorite movie, my favorite Disney movie. You and my three-year-old daughter really have something in common. Yeah, for Christmas I actually got a, a stuffed Olaf and the movie Frozen in, in Blu-ray. Okay. Not just regular, Blu-ray. So you've got to be stoked about Frozen 2 coming out. Yeah, man, I mean, I hope, I'm, I can't wait. Now another goal to get back in at Cyclones. What is your pop culture blind spot? Ooh. I don't have a whole lot of pop culture. I My wife watches E! News every night, so I, I, I continually ask the question, who's that? So are you up with the Kardashians? No, I, I, if my wife has it on, I'm out of the room. I'm, I'm either in the other room playing video games or uh, hanging out with the girls, but when Kardashians or Real Housewives or any of that's on, I'm, I'm out of there. I can't, I can't do it. You're a Dallas guy, graduated from Wiley High School. You are a MFFL, Rangers fan, Cowboys Nation. You got it all. You're, you're, you're a Dallas guy. You love them all. Yes, right. I'm all in for Dallas. I love this city, and I mean, like you said, I support every team. Is there one that you like a little bit more than others? Uh, no, not really. I mean, the Mavs and the, and the Cowboys, I, I follow mostly. I'm still trying to get out to a Rangers game, but hopefully that comes true. You know what? We can make that happen. Rangers, we're, we're, we're putting on you. We can make that happen, yes? Absolutely, please. It would be an honor for me to go. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. You know that people make livings now being video game contestants and video game athletes, quote unquote. Which of your teammates is most likely to be a professional video game player post soccer? Oh, that's easy. Matt Hedges. Uh, he is as nerdy as it gets to video games. You know, he he's probably the best at every video game that we play. Minus FIFA, he probably doesn't even play that. But he's he's big into all those games, and he's. He's very techno technologically savvy uh, with, with all that stuff and a little bit of a nerd, so it, it automatically goes to head. Very good, man. Thank you. Yeah. FC Dallas Youth Academy coach Luchi Gonzalez is back in the States after a stint in France. Sounds like a dream for most of us, but it was more of a working sojourn overseas. While the former SMU forward certainly enjoyed his time, he went through an intense youth training development course while earning his elite formation coaching license. Daniel Robertson has more in this week's FC Dallas Next, brought to you by Chase. Welcome to FCD Next, your look at what's happening in FC Dallas youth. This week we're talking to under-16 head coach Luchi Gonzalez, who recently completed a two-year coaching course led by the French Football Federation. The objective was to go through a two-year process where um, MLS coaches that were selected uh, are educated and in, in terms of knowledge of the game and the, the principles and the phases of the game that are important, uh, management, styles and skill, to run a team, to run a staff, to run a program, um, and then eventually form a vision of how to run an academy and with that culture design your own philosophy based on your culture and with that form a plan um, for your youth academy, for, 
for development. Each MLS team had a representative at the course, which began in February 2013 and just recently finished. They compared it to like getting a master's in, in soccer coaching for the youth, but I don't even like to call it coaching. It's, to me, it's soccer teaching, soccer education. You know, honestly, after the two years, I think all the candidates felt pretty confident in their knowledge of the game um, and their ability to, to present material. And I think everyone did pretty well. That's all for FCD Next. For more information on the FC Dallas youth, head to fcdallas.com slash youth and follow at FC Dallas Youth on Twitter. Thanks, Daniel. Still ahead, athletes will go to any length to stay in shape, including braving freezing temperatures. Matt Hedges and I go sub-zero to get the cryo treatment. Plus, we'll tell you how FC Dallas and Univision are inspiring some special youngsters to do better in the classroom through soccer. First, let's get social. Here are some of our favorite social media images from FC Dallas's last home game against Toronto FC. You can always share your social media love with the club by tagging FC Dallas on Twitter or Instagram. This is your tundra, your castle on wheels, and here you rule. Go anywhere, do anything. Just a turn of that key and you're off. Free to roam. But first, a little ballet. The 2015 Toyota Tundra, with stylish design and high-tech features. It's American built for today's truck driver. Toyota, let's go places. We don't give up. We don't quit. We keep going. Dallas faces the New York Red Bulls Friday, May 15th at 8 p.m. presented by Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital Plano. Tickets are on sale now at fcdallas.com.